What's up? Teach me grappling. In your back. Okay, we're passing the guard. Um, last video we did, we control the guy on the biceps, either like this or like this, either one. And then you try to go and get your, uh, uh, a lot of people are talking about it. Most people call this the log splitter or I was saying downward dog. So you remember like, like yoga here, I step my leg in the middle then I come back. As I come back, my knee pops through the center. And then we have a cross knee slice or some style of guard pass. So next, you can't get your knee in. Maybe you don't uh, possess the flexibility. Um, not that it requires a great deal, but you may not have that, that ability. Maybe your opponent isn't, doesn't have like long legs where there's a huge gap. Okay, so while I'm in this position, I'm gonna stand up this time, but since there's no room for my knee to go in the, in the middle and slide through, what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna bring both knees to his butt. My feet are flat and I'm relatively close, okay? I wouldn't say that my feet are like this, I don't know if you can shoot it from the back. Like, you don't have to have your feet together like this, but they cannot be like this. So this is too wide. Um, what I wanna do is I wanna bring my legs together so my knees go right under his butt and then come over here to the front. And then now, as I lean back, see once I'm here like this, he's trying to pull me. Once I lean back, I'm pushing, I'm sitting like I'm sitting in a chair. And now he tries to do a sit up. You know, he can even grab me, yeah. See how he's here and he's sitting like this. See, I'm putting a lot of pressure on his guard and then now I just let him hang out. I'm very relaxed right now and he's holding me up. Now, once I'm here, once he breaks, I'll step back and then we can start a leg drag or some type of guard pass, okay? Now, a lot of people will think, what about if he grabs my ankles, I could fall backward and it's true. Most guys won't be able to get good grips so I'll get here and then he'll try to grab from my ankles. You see how that is? Now, it, my elbows are sensitive to his legs. If he wants to do the double ankle sweep, he ha like you can't keep your guard and make me fall. It's really hard, right? Like you need to open, right? So when you open, when you try to go there, I'm gonna kick forward and out. You see that? And then now once we're here, we're, we're gonna work to guard pass. So great way to open the guard. If you guys are in a regular guard and you stand up like this, you, you might struggle and he's gonna grab your ankles, you know, and in this position, I can do the same move I did a second ago, but I don't have the same kind of control. Your hips have a lot more movement. You can underhook my legs, go for leg locks, you know, he can go, he can go under. So with this one, he's not gonna be able to go for the leg locks, okay? I'm gonna get under here, I'm gonna come up like this, and then now once I'm here, I can add a little bit of pressure, step back, and then now we have a leg in front. I'll start doing hitting the leg drag. I'm gonna drag his leg across. Once I bring a leg from one side to the other, I check it, get that ankle, and then come over here so you can see this. Um, I squat and I push down against my quadriceps. That way when he tries to turn back and face me, like that, it's really tough. I'm gonna walk this way and drive my knee down, okay? Trying to move a little bit. See that? As he's trying to move, I close that distance, get my elbows in, pommel and underhook, go get the head, stay on my toes and get the guard pass, okay? So, if you wanna get your knee in the middle, you get in the middle. Let's say I go here, he goes high guard, he starts climbing up, boom, boom. I slide the knee through the center. This time, I can't get my knee in the center. You know, his hips are here, I can't get it. Double knees, right here. If the guy grabs your ankles, and you, you do fall, go ahead. As I fall, boom, I turn, I pulse my hand, and I make sure I have my knee up like this. And I control his legs, that way it's hard for him to get up. In this position, he can use this leg to get up but I can also get up and we're back in the fight. So what I don't wanna do is just give up the easy sweep, okay? Don't give up the sweep. All right, so I'm here, like this. Okay, squatty, anytime you want, you can sweep. I try to kick out, even if I fall. If I fall, my knee's in the middle. 
See, I kept this, I kept this leg. Even if you got up right now, we're still in the fight here. I can take him back down and we go, go on with our guard pass. So pretty simple guard opening and you're using leverage. You're not really uh, uh, using a lot of energy to try to push and open the guard. You're using your body, your body weight. He's on a fulcrum. You're sitting in a chair and he's gonna be sitting on your knees. So great way to pass the guard. Thank you, Dylan. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm out. Teach me grappling. Please like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time with more great stuff. Was your finger on the lens the whole time? Just at the end. <laughs> oh my God. Now let's drag it across. Pull it to the other side. No, no, no. Oh, see, you're good. in the middle. Yes. Okay. Now go ahead, push it against your thigh. Good pressure. You see how you killed his hips? So now lay on him with your, put your chest down, head down. Now when he tries to like push you, even if you were to go back to that position, go back to the leg drag. Yeah, just like this. Now keep that right knee down. Put your right knee down. Good. Lay on him. Just kind of be heavy. Now just stay like that. Try to move Pete. See, as he's pushing you, the only way he can push you is he can push you to side control. You know what I mean? Like force her with your right arm, your frame, Pete. Push, push, push. Yeah. And then you come into side control. It's up to you. Yeah, you can door stop or you can come across for the underhook. Up to you. Who's next? Let's see. Get that guard up. Good, squat back. Nice, you see that little back arch you're putting her in? Nice leg drag. Again, we gotta get tighter with our leg drags. So smother with all that space and then give a reaction reel like you wanna guard recover. Yes, like that. And again, it could look like that. Like when it's real, it could look like that. But when you drill, I want you to really collapse her hips. Go, try again. Okay, we didn't really do the, the I wanna see the guard opening too, sorry. Okay, so let, keep the guard, and then Maria, grab. Don't, don't just lay there on your back. Yeah, grab, like you're trying to, yes, that's it. Now push and break the leg open. Good, step back, good, leg drag. Nice, stay down, 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 pressure, smash her hips. Very good, and then get to the side. Good, nice. Maria, give it one more go, one more go. Tight, close guard, grab the head. Grab the head, Dylan, there you go. This is reality. Get on the inside, biceps, stand up, tripod. Good, knees together, knees together. Feet together, knees together. Sitting back, okay, good. Yes, it's good that he tried it. exactly. Then, now that was good, you just threw the leg. Let's go ahead, defend a little bit right here. Even right here, uh, Dylan, defend. So she has to go to a leg drag. So like, as he develops guard, leg drag. Exactly, control it, smash it. Can't do this enough. Good, solidify everything. Get your underhook with your left hand under his arm. Yeah, get that underhook. Now you lock him up and stay there for a little while. Even if he's trying to push you, go try to push her. Just pressure with your toes. We got our feet in the mat over here, we're pushing. Exactly, that's how you do it. Now get that near elbow out. Get the near elbow out. You know, walk your hip up toward the uh, head with your right knee and knock his elbow away. Yes, remember, keep that elbow up. And you can grab it like Keskatami, or you just walk up, like go get the neck. Yeah, like that. You see, now he's, his elbow's out. We can start working on the dars. We can work on a lot of things. How about simple crucifix? Step over that, pin it. Yeah, and then now you can ground and pound. You've seen that before, I know. Yeah. Oh, you're done, Dylan, you're done. Okay, thank you guys.